In this video, I'd like to introduce SOLIDWORKS users to the Solid Edge interface. Most of the functions in the Solid Edge interface are going to look familiar to SOLIDWORKS users, especially because Solid Edge makes use of the Microsoft standard interface. The first tool we need to take a look at is the application button. Application button brings you to the application menu, and this is where you can go through various tutorials. You can create new documents, open existing documents, including a list of recently opened files. You can save, save all, save as, print to paper or 3D, go to the Solid Edge community, or have a look at the Solid Edge settings. This area will become very important to you. If you click on Settings, go to Options. Here we get a list of all of the various settings inside Solid Edge. You'll make use of this, especially as a beginning user, trying to get Solid Edge set up the way you want it. You should take some time to explore this dialog in detail. In particular, you'll want to look through the General page, the Helpers page, Units, Dimension Styles, and Annotations. And if you're the CAD Administrator, of course, everything is important. Also on the application menu, we can get tools, info for file properties in particular, and your exit and about Solid Edge information. Once you've created a part, assembly, or drawing, other areas of the interface become available. Let's go through these from top to bottom. The quick access menu will allow you to access several commands very quickly. An important one for beginning users is going to be the customize area, where you can turn on or off various icons in the quick access toolbar. You can also get to customize the Solid Edge interface from here, and we'll come back to this later. It's very important. For beginning users, the themes area becomes very important. We recommend that SOLIDWORKS users using Solid Edge should use the Sum Assistance theme. The theme is just a set of settings that affect the interface. I'm using a slightly modified Sum Assistance theme for this video. The maximum workspace is for experienced users who are very familiar with the icons and don't need any of the text in the interface, and the balanced, and the balanced theme is somewhere in between. We'll come back to some of this customization later. Unlike SOLIDWORKS, Solid Edge doesn't have any menus. Everything is put on the ribbon interface, and so we can switch between areas of the interface by using the tabs. You can double click on the tab to minimize the ribbons and single click to get it back temporarily. If you double click on it again, you can get it back permanently. If you can't find a command, that's what the command finder is all about at the bottom. For example, if I'm looking for the section view, Solid Edge Command Finder will find this for me, and it will even highlight areas in the interface even if they are on different tabs, and even if they are inactive in the current environment. Below the ribbon is the Artificial Intelligence Driven Command Predictor. The more you use the software, the more useful this predictor will become. In the theme I am using, the prompt bar is in the upper left, but this can be removed. You can use the floating triangular stickers to put the prompt bar anywhere. It will often be found at the top or even at the bottom. You can put it back where it belongs, like this. The area labeled select here is what Solid Edge calls the command bar. The command bar is usually floating at the top center of the screen and looks more like a toolbar. This is equivalent to SOLIDWORKS Property Manager, and it's where you'll set up parameters for the extrude feature and other types of functions. When you have multiple documents open, they will show up as tabs on top of the windows. So you can have parts, assemblies, and drawings open at the same time. The Pathfinder in Solid Edge is what's known as the Feature Manager as in SOLIDWORKS. You can move the Pathfinder using this gray bar at the top of the window. You can move it to another monitor or outside of the application window. There are various symbols. There are various symbols that help you understand the status of parts assemblies, and features in the Pathfinder. You can find more information on this by searching for the word legend in the Solid Edge help. 
The status bar is at the bottom of the solid edge window and you can get various types of information including right now it's letting us know that we don't have any items selected. If your prompt bar happens to be turned off, the prompt bar information will be displayed in the status bar. The prompt bar helps you understand exactly what Solid Edge is looking for next. Next to the command finder are various view tools. In addition to rotate from the view bar, you can also use the middle mouse button on the mouse. Your 3D connection spaceball device will also attach to Solid Edge and work perfectly with parts and assemblies and also drawing views. The view cube can also help you access views easily. The area at the right of the screen is called the edge bar and this allows you to access many different areas of Solid Edge. To get a list of these, you can use the drop-down and access these various panels directly from the list. Another area of the interface I haven't mentioned yet is the radial menu. You can access this by holding down the right mouse button. It has two levels of commands that you can add to the ring and you can use this as a gestures menu but it will only use the innermost ring. Gestures can be used by quickly dragging the right mouse button. To customize the radial menu go to the customize area of the quick access menu. Customize and from here you can select more than just the radial menu. But let's take a look at that first. You find the command that you want to use, drag it onto the appropriate block of the radial menu. You can also customize keyboard shortcuts, the quick access toolbar, the overall ribbon, as well as general options for the software layout. And finally, I want to point out something added to the 2022 Solid Edge interface, and that's the smile or frown face. You can send feedback to the Solid Edge team very quickly by telling them if you're happy or you're not happy and why. Thanks for watching.